Wednesday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Roab County Weather. As we take a look at the Doppler radar, you can see we've got high pressure continuing to remain in place for us as we go through the next few days. Uh, we'll see things change a little bit as we head into the weekend, though. This area that's circled in yellow here off the coast, we're continuing to keep an eye on that as a low pressure is expected to form off the northern Florida coast sometime over the next 48 hours. And as it does, it will bring an increased chance for rain to the county in the area as we head into late Friday and during the day on Saturday. Now, if you're planning on heading to the high school football games on Friday, as of right now, things look dry, but we could get some isolated showers near the very end of the games, depending on how late they go. We'll continue to keep you updated on that. But during the day on Saturday, we can see some isolated showers from some of the outer rain bands of this low that will form off the coast of Florida and move northward to the North Carolina coast as we go through the weekend. Uh, no real concerns for this becoming a name storm uh, because it's only got about a 30% chance of doing that. But it certainly could be a good rainmaker, especially for folks along the coast and the eastern Piedmont. As you come west, the rain chances go down. We're kind of right on the outer edge of that at this moment, so we'll continue to keep an eye on it and see how this uh, system tracks as it gets going over the next few days. Pollen levels today will be moderate to high. Ragweed, grasses, and chena pods, the main pollen drivers. The UV index will be moderate to high, and the air quality is a code green. Bus stop forecast as the kiddos head out the door this morning. Around 7 a.m., temperature's going to be around 57 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds. Sun is just going to be coming up around that time, so it certainly will not be that high in the sky. In the afternoon, 4 p.m., temperatures around 79 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds. Mowing forecast once again today will be dry, so plenty of opportunities to get out there and get your yard work done. The mosquito forecast has high levels of activity today, Thursday, and Friday. Rowan County Weather would like to take this opportunity to thank the advertising partners that help make Rowan County Weather possible. Call it Closed International Realty. Alan Ellsworth is a client first results-driven individual. He's there to help you with all your real estate needs. You can check out his website at allen.ellsworth at callitclose.com. You can email him at allenellsworth.callitclose.com and you can give him a call 980-330-8401. One Stop Auto, they're located at 150 Blackberry Lane in Salisbury. You can give them a call at 704-639-3566. They sell used and new tires. They do tire repair Oil changes and batteries. They're open seven days a week. They sponsor the bus stop forecast right here on Rowan County Weather. All Roofing Solutions is there to help you if you got any damage or repairs that need to be done to your roof. Give Kevin a call, 980-643-4373. If you're moving or you've got a lot of large equipment, you need to move from one location to another, and you need a trailer for a short period of time to get that done, KH Trailer Rentals can help you. For more information, head over to rowancountyweather.com on the right-hand side of our blog page. You'll see the KH Trailer Rentals graphic. Just click that graphic. It will take you directly to their website for all the details. Patterson Farm has over 40 activities going on on the farm this fall season. Between fall fun on the farm and the fall education tours, there's plenty of opportunities for your child to enjoy the farm this season. For more information, visit pattersonfarm.com. Chuck's Trains and Hobby Depot, located at 131 South Central Avenue in Landis. Chuckstrains.com is the website from retro to the latest craze. They've got something for the kid and everyone. They have candy, toys, magic tricks, games, puzzles, Pokemon, trains, models, science projects, STEM projects, rockets, and more. As we take a look at the forecast, we've got a mix of sun and clouds today and Thursday. We'll see a high of around 80 degrees today with a low of 56 Thursday, a high of 79, low of 58. On Friday, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds, more clouds than sun as we get later into the day. We'll see a high of 74 with a low of 60. I do have a 20% chance of rain in there. That's going to be for very late in the evening, if it happens at all on Friday, because the air is going to be dry. So it's going to take some time for the rain to actually make its way to the ground without evaporating on the way down. On Saturday, we've got a 30% chance of rain. High of 68, low of 58. Sunday and Monday, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds with a high of 75, low of 59 on Sunday. High of 77, low of 59 on Monday. And on Tuesday, we'll see 
uh, partly sunny skies with a high of 75 and a low of 59. The forecast is sponsored by S.A. Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. You can visit them on their website at www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website at www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and threads. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Wednesday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.